Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and once again, it's cast time. Um, and also, just like has been going on for a while now, um, there, this one here is gonna get fairly intricate, um, just a bunch of moving parts and whatnot, so, don't be surprised if I make a few mistakes here and there. So, if I do, I'll try to correct them as quick as I can. But, um, uh, the music that I'm playing now is Dianara, uh, from another land. I think I might have actually played this album before, like a long time ago. It looks and kind of sounds familiar, but for the, I guess uh, for like a point of reference, if anybody's ever heard of an album called uh, The Talking Book, uh, Bill Gould and Jared Bloom, I think it, one or both of them used to be in a ba in the, um, hang on, the name's on the tip of my tongue. Not Mr. Bungle. Faith No More. Yeah, Faith No More. One or both of them used to be in that band. Um, well, they uh, put together uh, another album like back in the 2000s called The Talking Book. Well, DNR kind of sounds like that. Kind of resembles it. But... Um, and uh, something else I was wanting to say. I can't remember what it was. Oh, well. <laughs> And I did forget to sound test this, so. It looks all right so far. I'll, yeah, I'll turn it down just a smidge. I'm just going to say close enough on that. So. But anyway, for, um, for today's pinball stream, it actually went good. Um, pretty much a stark contrast to yesterday. Um, this FX3 went pretty good. Um, just ranked pretty high on, um, on the tournament, all the tournaments that I entered, or let me rephrase that, on most of the tournaments that I entered. Um, in fact, I even took first place in a couple of and um I think at least one um I think I took first in another one but it's unconfirmed but but yeah I I did good in FX3 um arcade I mean I didn't I didn't do spectacular but I did I did uh, I did perform solidly enough to to play on it for like, I want to say about an hour. So yeah, much better than yesterday. Um, Zachariah, I think I was on that for about, I want to say probably, oh, I think I was, I think I was actually on an hour. Yeah, I think I was playing Zachariah for about an hour too. So, oh, excuse me. But yeah, it did. Played good enough on Zachariah to last about last an hour. I think yesterday it was like I probably lasted maybe about 15 minutes or so. Oh, excuse me, lasted maybe about 15 minutes or so. So, so yeah, uh, good day today. I am redeemed. Oh, small, I forgot to mention too, there's probably going to be a chance that there's a, this might be a fairly short cast. Yeah, because I didn't really do a whole lot. You know, other than the usual slobbing and napping. Um, okay, there it goes. I thought maybe the uh, maybe YouTube froze up or something. It was silent there for a while. Um, but one other big thing too is uh totally unexpected, but one of my favorite YouTube channels, Soft White Underbelly. 
Um, the new video came out, and there's a couple of Ukra Ukrainian refugees in there, which that totally threw me off because usually his guests they consist of like inbred families, um, meth addicts, porn stars, prostitutes, you know, stuff like that. The kind of people you don't see every day. But no, no, he had a he had a couple of Ukrainians in there. I mean. I, I figured, I've always thought Ukraine, you know, if they were going to have Ukrainian refugees on like a program, it'd be like one, like some mainstream, you know, program, you know, ABC News or, you know, CNN or, you know, stuff like that, you know, just swoop, you know, swoop them up, pick them up, um, put them in some, put them in some plush room with a whole shit ton of camera lights and all, you know, or a shit ton of lights and cameras all over them, you know, basically treat them like fucking King Kong, you know. Hey, look at the freak, you know, look at the freaks. Hey, look, these are refugees plucked straight out of Ukraine. Okay, tell, tell your story. Yeah, life song. Ah! You know, and it just, bas you know, basically making a big spectacle out of them. So, so yeah, it's pretty surprising that soft white underbelly, I, I think his name's Mark. Mark Laita or something like that, but yeah, he, no, he, um, that was it, um, I'm thinking he was doing some, uh, freelance photography work in, uh, Los Angeles, or not Los Angeles, but, uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, Nevada, uh, he was down there in Vegas doing, doing, uh, photography or advertising stuff, or both, I can't remember which, but, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of veering off the path here, but, but yeah, um, I guess he somehow encountered these two Ukrainian chicks, um, brought them in, you know, brought them in, interviewed them and stuff. And um, I guess a big upside, as selfish as this might sound, is they speak English. I mean, no, granted, I mean English is a second language, so yeah, they're kind of they're kind of hard to listen to. They're kind of hard to understand, even when putting a closed captioning on. Even that, even that wasn't working. So, but you know, at least, you know, at least he's bringing in people that speak English because if he had to bring like an interpreter, it would have been a big mess. You know, it didn't. You know, I've I've seen a few of these where. I mean, I'm sure you guys have probably seen that kind of thing, too, where, you know, the English-speaking person is, you know, trying to talk to this Russian person, but it's like, it's like he's not even talking to the Russian person at all, or, he, or he's not even talking to the foreigner at all, he's like talking to the interpreter, and then the interpreter is talking to the foreigner. It's just really awkward to watch. So, so yeah, I gotta say props to him for, you know, bringing people in that actually speak English. Um, but, uh, if I can remember to, though, I'm definitely gonna post a link to this interview in, the, in my uh, description. Yeah, they're talking about closing up the sky or something like that. That's what the Ukraine needs. Just basically stop the air bombings. Stop the artillery bombings. But uh, if anyone's uh, if anyone saw yesterday's cast where I showed that uh, Jessica Wildfire art article. Even if they do make things all better for for the Ukrainians, it won't be for the best of reasons. You know, probably just doing it to make them all. They're probably just doing it to make their own selves look good and cover their ass. So, okay, I'll goof that up. Anyway, um. I also want to, but, um, what I'm, uh, 
guy named Jake Ryan, he wanted me to, he wanted me to uh, make a tutorial video about OBS, which uh, I kind of looked into. Um, but one big problem I had with it is that I want to show what I'm doing in real time, but the thing of it is, is in order, I'm, I have to be, I have to be able to, I have to, how, do, how, how can I explain it? I have to be able to record, record and record and put on video the very, the very thing I'm doing in order to make that video possible. I'll kind of give you an example here. Um, this is, see if I did that, this is what you'd get. And I don't, and I don't really know what to do. I mean, yeah, I mean, see, you can see my drop down menu. Um, I can think of maybe one, one thing. If you guys can see it well enough, color source. Which I don't want, so... I'll just pick that one. I mean, I could probably do something like that. You know, put a big curtain over that so you're not seeing the... Du the duplicates, but like I said, basically, trying to show you how to how to work OBS in real time is like crossing the streams. You know what? I'm. I think I could almost make this work, almost. But you guys kind of get the idea, though. But I'd have to find some way to cover that up. Just so it's not so distracting, and um, I'd also have to find a way to. that yeah it was looking kind of messy but like I said I think you guys kind of get the idea here I want to show you how I do this like in real time otherwise I would end up having to make a shit ton of screenshots. Every little function, every little pop-up, every little drop-down menu, I would have to make a screenshot for. And what that would also mean is I really, I really couldn't make an actual video out of all this. What I'd have to do is I'd basically, I'd have to make a tutorial article. And I, I can't really see of a way to make the, to make the fonts bigger, to make them large enough to where you guys can see them. In fact, let me, um... Okay, I'm gonna... I'm going to toss out a random image, if you can see here. So, I think you can move the window.
Okay, I don't know if you guys can see this, but yeah. Okay, it looks like you guys can. Um, I don't know if you guys can see my... Uh, if you, I don't know if you guys can see my image file. Yeah, looks like you can. But yeah, um, well, here's here's one basic building block. But again, I don't. What I really want to do is I, as you can see here, I want to get rid of all the uh, the duplicate stuff back here. Kind of looks like an MC Escher painting or something. Then just go here. I push the uh, delete key. So, it looks like I'm on to something here. And I guess while I'm here, one other thing I could probably show you. Um, again, I don't know how well you can see this, but... Um, but browser, but this is another way of... Uh, Another way of adding images. But I would have to... So I'll just go ahead and do this, for example. I think you guys can see what I'm doing here. Yeah, that's too big. I'll take this. Then, um... I don't know how well you can see this, but I'm in my browser right now. Um, right click the image I'm like I'm on Google so right click the image and go to and then you choose copy image link let's title this and then um on my other cast whenever you hear me say get ready for a big blue patch coming up I'll try to stop it as quick as I can this is what I'm, this is what I'm talking about. So that'll that'll come up. It's just this yucky blue OBS Studio thing, but I can shut it off by doing that. And then one other thing you also have to do is if you, on the dimensions, like you want to type, you want it to be exactly what it shows on the browser 252 I think it was and there it is fresh off the internet like you don't have to you don't have to download this into your or you don't have you don't have to download this into your screenshots folder or anything like that but again um, once you grab that web address your dimensions have to be perfect Otherwise, otherwise you'll get this uh, you'll get this black crap. Yeah, you'll get this black crap on it that you can't get rid of. So back to one ninety nine. Yeah. So. Go ahead and delete that. Oh, huh, but yeah, it, this is totally unplanned right here. I mean, again, this isn't ideal, but it is something to consider. it's safe to say I can get rid of that and I suppose I could probably get rid of Bootsy I haven't used that image in a long time so again 
Just push uh, delete. Out it goes. And then um, I guess one other thing I wanted to show, or it it actually was the reason why um, it actually was the reason why I was wanting to do this to begin with. Um, actually no. I'll go ahead and um, I'll go ahead and uh, show that at another time. But, um, it's going to be, um, I want it to be a full-blown video on why I don't like Windows Movie Maker. I've said this in other casts, too, but, uh, you know, OB, you know, OBS, it's, it's, it's a program that's meant for streaming and recording stuff, not editing. You know, that's supposed to be, uh, Windows Movie Maker's job. You know, this, that's, this is where you're supposed to be doing all the cutting and so on and all that, but yet, this thing doesn't have, have near the functionality that OBS does. So, yeah, I'm kind of in the market for something better, but it has to be free, and it can't be a trial. Especially if, if you were to sign up for that trial, it asks for your credit card number. Uh, no. You should only be, I mean, they should only be asking for that shit after the trial period has ended and you want to upgrade, you know, you want to upgrade to the full version. Not as a requirement just to get the trial version to begin with. So. So, but, but yeah, that was a bit of an eye-opener. Um, I might actually, um, uh, I might actually start playing with that here at some point. Um, let me go back there. Yeah, I might actually, um, I might actually, um, do my tutorial video using this. It's pretty interactable. It's just, I gotta, I gotta do some tweaking around and stuff like that in order to make it presentable, for lack of a better word. But otherwise, um, that's going to do it for me, everybody. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and call it good here. I think I pretty much said all the things that I wanted to say this morning, and then some. So, But um, otherwise, th as always, thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me. I always appreciate that, and uh, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow. So, But until then, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye for now.